Absolutely, climate change has been greatly overestimated. Oceans are cooling Earth far more than climatologists thought. Norwich, United Kingdom, when it comes to climate change, a new study finds that our fear over the planet's health may be greatly overestimated. For the first time, Rishashram researchers have found oceans help cool global temperatures more than anyone previously thought. Specifically, sulfur gas produced by marine life emits a second compound that significantly cools the planet. The discovery will help create more accurate climate models and provide another tool to slow global warming. With almost three-fourths of Earth covered by oceans, the waters capture and redistribute the sun's heat. The latest study in Science Advances shows the process goes much deeper than that. The oceans also create sulfur gases that create particles to cool the Earth, such as brightening clouds that reflect heat. The new compound released from sulfur gas is known as methanethiol. It has not been detected before because it is extremely hard to measure. Additionally, much research has been done on warm oceans, while polar oceans are the emission hotspots. Microscopic plankton living on the sea surfaces emit a type of sulfur gas known as dimethyl sulfide. This gas is the one responsible for the stinky smell. In shellfish, once sulfur gas reaches the atmosphere, it oxidizes and produces small particles called aerosols. These aerosols reflect solar radiation back into space, lowering the heat on Earth. Plankton also releases methanethiol. The authors quantified the amount of methanethiol released into clouds over the Southern Ocean and observed an even greater cooling effect. The cooling impact on the climate is bigger than expected and works the opposite of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, which absorb heat. Researchers have found that sulfur gas produced by marine life emits a second compound that significantly cools the planet. This is the climatic element with the greatest cooling capacity, but also the least understood. We knew methanethyl was coming out of the ocean, but we had no idea about how much and where. We also did not know it had such an impact on climate. Says Dr. Sharwal, a researcher at the University of East Anglia's Center for Ocean and Atmospheric Sciences in a media release. Climate models have greatly overestimated the solar radiation actually reaching the Southern Ocean, largely because they are not capable of correctly simulating clouds. The work done here partially closes the long-standing knowledge gap between models and observations. The others note that the new research helps create more accurate climate models, refining their understanding of the ocean's role in cooling the planet. These models include those that predict what would happen to the Earth when the global temperature rises by 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2 degrees Celsius, with results influencing current climate change policies. The researchers grouped up all measurements of methanethiol in seawater and added them to measurements made in the Southern Ocean and the Mediterranean coast. Using seawater temperature collected from satellite data, they then used statistics to calculate their results. Yearly, methanethiol increases marine sulfur emissions by 25%. It may not seem like much, but methanethiol is more efficient at oxidizing and forming aerosols than dimethyl sulfide, and 
Therefore, its climate impact is magnified, says Dr. Julian Villamayor, a researcher at the Blas Cabrera Institute of Physical Chemistry in Spain. The team also added marine methanethiol emissions to a climate model to measure their effects on the planet's radiation. The impact is more visible in the southern hemisphere where you know, there are more oceans and fewer humans burning fossil fuels. And while sulfur aerosols are important in cooling the planet, the authors note that human behavior will determine whether the planet continues to warm. The study challenges previous understanding of how oceans regulate climate. It reveals that methanethiol is more than just a simple byproduct. It's an important climate agent. The research suggests that ocean microorganisms produce a more complex array of sulfur compounds than scientists previously believed. By including methanethiol in climate models, researchers might better explain existing discrepancies in Southern Ocean climate simulations. The findings lend additional support to the long-standing sea law hypothesis, which proposes that marine life plays a crucial role in climate regulation through the emission and transformation of volatile sulfur compounds. This international research effort was supported by a diverse array of funding sources, including the European Research Council, Spanish Ministry of Science and Innovation, Argentine research institutions, the U.S. National Science Foundation, Alfred Wegener Institute, French research programs, and the Indian Ministry of Earth Sciences. Despite the multiple funding sources, the researchers emphasized their commitment to scientific integrity by declaring no competing interests. The study was a collaborative effort involving researchers from multiple uh, international institutions with a special acknowledgement to Ron Keane, a pioneering researcher in marine sulfur compounds.